you all are good at your homes. So today we are going to learn one lesson. Before starting with the chapter, I would like to ask you one thing. You all have read in EVS what are the body parts, internal and external organs. Same is in the case of the computer. It also has its own parts that are hardware and software. Now, what are hardware devices? Hardware devices are those which we can see or we can touch. Same in case of our body that the eyes, hands, these are the body parts which we can see and internal body parts that is the software which is inside the computer. So let's start with the chapter. Chapter number 1. Hardware and software. Now, in hardware devices, which devices comes? The output. The parts that we can see that are monitor, printer, speakers, etc. Most often we use is the webcam and scanner. So here I will show you what is the webcam. Now, at your homes you all have laptops. So, here at the top you have one hole. So, what is that? That is the webcam from which you can click the photographs. Now, what is the scanner? Now, in your exam papers you have all have the pictures or the photographs printed on that paper. So, from where you get those pictures? So, from your textbook the photos are being scanned in the scanner and then they are coming on your papers. So, now next we have the internal and external devices. Now, what are the internal and external devices? Now, they are in internal devices we have the hard, hard disk which is inside the computer but the external devices we have the cd the pen drive now what is the full form of cd the compact disc but if we talk about the pen drive have you all seen the pen drive okay i'll show you this is called the pen drive i think you all have seen this pen drive at your homes with your father okay now children do you know why the pen drive is used we use pen drive to transfer data from pen drive to our computers okay or from computers to our pen drive so just we will take one quick revision what we have read just now okay now you all have computers so it has different different parts same in the case it has hardware and software now Here it is hardware and the next is software. Now what is hardware? In hardware the body parts which we see of the computer that is monitor, printer, speaker etc. These are the output devices which we see. Here it is output devices here input devices now what are the output devices they are monitor speaker printer Okay, in short, what is the use of monitor? Whatever the instructions we give to computer, the result which we see on the screen, that is the monitor, 
so mon monitor shows us the result okay next is speaker now what is the use of speaker whatever music or the sound we play in the computer from where we can hear from the speakers next we have the printer now what is the use of printer okay whatever the paper we want to get printed so what we do is we just select the right written text from the computer and we print that paper with the help of the printer the paper is been printed now coming to the next topic that is input and out input devices so what are the input devices they are joystick now what is the use of joystick we play games with the joystick next we have hard disk now where is the hard disk it is in the computer and where it is placed in the brain of the computer the which we call cpu next after this we have the internal and external parts now what are internal they are the hard disk which i have told you the input device which stores every data of our computer and the external we have the pen drive cds etc so what is the use of pen drive we store data in it and we can start transfer the data from computer to pen drive and from pen drive to computer or by using the usb cable we can also transfer the data to the computer coming to the next topic that is software now what is the software software is that to which we give the instructions whatever the instructions we give to the software the result which is been shown on the monitor is the through the software in other words we can say is that it is the brain of the computer so in the software we have two types that is system software and the application software now what is the use of system software and the application software system software it is the software which we have in our computer for example windows 7 window 10 which is in build the computer when we bring the computer to our homes we all have seen the computers at the office banks schools at our homes and many more places so whatever the software which is inside it it is the system software which help us to use the computer the examples are windows 7 and 10 coming next to the application software now what are the application softwares now application softwares are those in which we can write anything or in which we can do anything for example if we want to make a painting so what we will how we will do it we will just open the paint then we will select the color from the bucket which is given inside it then we will fill the color with the help of the Uh, shapes we have inside this circle triangle square rectangle oval with the help of that shapes we will make the shape then we will fill the colors inside and we are going to make a beautiful picture with the help of that 
or if we want to write anything inside it so which application we are going to use the word uh, word application we will open the word application we will first put the heading then we will start writing about the text we have to write so this is all about the hardware and software now you all have one homework from my side you have to draw any three hardware uh, devices of your own choice thank you